Imagine a world where you can wave a wand and command everything at your own will. For so many years, I used to always think that this whole concept of do nothing and money will fall into your lap is a whole pile of bullcrap until I finally realized that everything is energy. You are energy, the furniture is energy, the cat is energy, nature, abundance, shittiness, scarcity or wealth is all energy. And it is our responsibility to harness our energy in a way where we are magnetic to all of our desires. Whether it's that hot dude with a fit six pack body or career opportunities that help us flourish to our next level. No matter what your desire is, we're going to help you level up energetically and make sure that we attract everything that we want by using the law of least effort. Now, hi everyone, my name is Patty, and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this video with me. So let's get started. So again, if you are that friend, or you have encountered a friend who always told you that you can't just sit on the couch and money will fall into your lap, or abundance is created by doing nothing, then this is how the law of least effort work. The first time I came across the law of least effort was when I was about 23 years old. I was working in corporate sales and I had to use the bathroom because I was so overwhelmed by all the bull crap that I was experiencing. So I then turned on Mark Manson's podcast while I was in the restroom and I was listening to the chapter where he talked about the law of least effort. He used an example of the Navy SEALs drown proofing training. Basically the Navy SEALs hands and arms would be tied at the back and their feet would also be tied together then their whole body would be dumped into a pool that is nine foot deep. Damn, how are they going to get back up? So apparently a few Navy SEALs have been severely injured and also passed away from this training. But those who did survive managed to survive by not resisting the process. What I mean is that our natural instinct is to try to keep ourselves afloat by panicking, screaming and trying to keep our head above the water. But for those who did nothing and allowed themselves to go all the way deep down to the end of the pool, that then allowed their foot to be pushed back up to the top of the pool and eventually survive the training. In the chapter, he also emphasizes how the more we try to be happy, the more suffocated we feel in the process of trying to chase happiness. The more we try to find freedom, the more we jail ourselves in the process of looking for freedom. And this is where all the spiritual YouTubers and all these coaches say your vibration is muddled up. The more you try to energetically resist the process, overly exerting masculine force, that's when everything becomes blocked, simply because you're not allowing it to be. Which now I'm going to link this to, well how does using this law make you energetically magnetic? Well this is very simple. I want you to think back of the time where you came across leeches, energy vampires, narcissists, people that are so freaking overbearing that you just cannot have the space to breathe. These are the kind of people that have a repelling energy. These people's energy or vibration is operating below the point of 200, which is filled with pride, anger, sadness, and this kind of scarcity frequency where you just don't want to be near them. But the opposite of that is rising stars. Think about those A-list celebrities or people that are on the rise who just gained this massive momentum. They're booking all these campaigns, billboard photo shoots, winning music awards, going on to every variety shows. Everywhere they go, they are so magnetic. Everything they wear, they look expensive in. And every single product that they endorse, that product sells out. Whether it's a MAC lipstick, whether it's a designer bag, whether it's a t-shirt, or even some sort of potato chips or yogurt. That is because their energetic is pulling you in to want to invest in them. And even though you may think that I'm not a celebrity, but this is how you want to harness your energy so that no matter where you go to, people are receptive to you. They want to give you free things. They want to give you expensive things that you can access for a discounted price. They want to give you a 10 out of 10 treatment or give you roles that match your highest potential. But this all starts from you understanding that the least you try to chase that opportunity, to chase that bank account figure, to chase the validation for people to see that you are worthy. All you have to do is literally sit back and relax, which leads to the point of embodying your dream girl energy. Again, when you sit back and relax, you are in the knowing state that you are chosen. Imagine that you are the celebrity who is on the rise. No matter what song you sing, that song hits the top of the billboard charts. 
no matter what album you put out on the market, people just want to stream and buy your album simply because you are energetically magnetic. Even if your vocal techniques, your dance skills or everything is not the best of the best, but because you are so energetically alluring, you make people feel good when you perform. You make people feel good when you go on live streams and all these things. That is why people are invested in you. So what I'm trying to compare this is to people who intellectually understand everything. They may be the best at using manifestation techniques. They may loop their affirmation 10,000 times a day. They may religiously read law of attraction books. They may understand everything about spirituality and how to raise your vibration, but they are not embodying the energetic state that makes people want to be in their presence. And this is very true for skeptics. It's like the linear thinking says that in order for me to achieve X, AKA money, I must go and get this job hand my resume to these companies and earn my money by an hourly rate. Money can be generated in so many different ways, but if we just relax, now we are starting to allow ourselves to be the receiver of good things. Being energetically magnetic is to be a great receiver. And you can even spot this in cats. There are some stray cats that are just affectionate. They come to you and become affectionate with you, and therefore you wanna feed that cat food. Sometimes you even wanna let that cat into your house. But some other stray cats that fear you, they don't allow themselves to receive your affection. So therefore you wanna feed them food, but you always have this boundary with them. That's the same with you fearing life and being like, okay, this is a bunch of bullshit. You can't manifest by sitting on the couch and meditating. You can't do nothing and everything's gonna happen. And of course it is true that you can't just do nothing, but you can always energetically stabilize yourself by taking least effort by using less force, less masculine energy, and really allow yourself to be, because you know that you are already a 10 out of 10. So therefore, you don't have to lower your energy to prove your worth to anybody, that you deserve to get paid this amount of dollars, that you deserve to have this kind of friendship. But what you are actually doing is leaning back, leaning back so that people can come towards you and give you the things that you want. So let's just put this as an example. Let's just say you try to manifest a specific person. Now this topic is so popular on YouTube and I couldn't understand this at all until very, very recently. Let's just say you logically know that you shouldn't text him three times a day. So you don't even text him at all, but you still send him these telepathic messages that says, I miss you. I want you to text me. I want you to give me validation. I want you to give me something that I can't give to myself, whether that is affection, love, attention, or anything like that. If you are using your masculine force to try and make shit happen with him, then what you're gonna find yourself doing is either writing emails, trying to explain how much you love him, trying to catch up with him, trying to schedule a coffee date, trying to make him see you, go on social media and trying to flaunt your body or where you are right now so you can get his attention. Now that is manipulating your outcome and it is so hard for you to receive abundance or even the 10 out of 10 treatment by you taking action from this scarcity energetic state. But if you were truly leaning back, what you would actually do in this case is leave the situation as it is. You will come back to yourself and find your joy. Figure out what it is that you want to do that makes you feel like a superstar in your reality. For me as a creative person, I love dressing up. I love wearing makeup and I really love making YouTube videos. So these activities make me feel like a superstar in my reality. So all I have to do is take my awareness of the fact that he's not messaging me. He's not saying to me that he loves me and use that energy to channel it into my creative projects. Channel it towards things that makes me feel so much joy that I've even forgotten that, okay, why is life even a struggle? I am having so much fun right now in my reality that everything seems to work my way. And therefore you allow yourself to lean back and not do anything to make shit happen. And when you find that you are leaning back while you're at the beach, while you're sitting on the wharf and watching the sun set slowly as the skies turn pink and the ocean water is glistening so beautifully, you will start to receive a text out of nowhere when you don't even expect it. Suddenly he will want to see you again. Suddenly he will treat you well, even if you never ask for him to treat you better because you are treating yourself better. You are leaning back by doing nothing towards a situation, but you are doing everything to make your soul dance. You are doing everything to nurture your inner child. And that's how you make people and things come towards you. 
And if we apply this in the context of money, now this is very interesting because I couldn't see this happening in my 3D for so many years. And my logical brain always says, you can only earn money, at least myself, I can only earn money by getting a nine to five job. That's the only way that I can do it because I'm not qualified for anything else. I'm not qualified to be a CEO. I'm not qualified to be a business owner. I'm not qualified to be an investor because I am me. And that's why I only deserve this much salary per year. And I'm sure that if you're operating in this energetic state that says to you, oh, I don't deserve more than this, then you're gonna find all these reasons to justify that. Oh, because I went to this school, my past is this way, I have limited network, I have limited resources. That's why the only way I can earn money is by trading my time for it. So once you operate in an energetically scarce state, now you're gonna find 100 jobs and write the same resume and send it out to every single hundred jobs. You won't even take that much time to research the company and be like, okay, how does my values align with their values? How can I tailor my resume to really suit what the people in these companies want? Do I even want to work in this industry? Do I even want to grow in this industry? You will start to take all these actions that comes from a chaser mode where everything you do is just so freaking hard. It's so hard for you to get the job interview. It's so hard for people to recognize why you deserve to get the job because you are not allowing yourself to receive. So you might say, okay, well, I need to pay my bills next week. How do I allow myself to really receive? See my personal experience, all these things like I need the money now. I need this right, right now. This whole situation can be dropped. There are certain situations where suddenly people will reach their arms out to help you in that particular moment. But in the long run, a lot of times, these situations are all in your head. Actually, you will be fine if you don't get that job in the next six months. Actually, you will be fine if you do happen to get fired. It will work out if you start to allow yourself to lean back, sit in stillness and allow the answers to come to you. So I'm not telling you to not take any actions when the answers come to you. But if you constantly treat yourself like, I don't have anything, I don't have access to anything, any money, any network, any leverages, then that reality will be your dominant reality for the rest of your life. And I really mean the rest of your life because things don't change because you get older. Things only change when you shift your energy. So even if you think, oh, there's no way somebody's going to give me $2,000. I don't have anybody to lean on. I have to get this job. I have to work in this specific industry. Even if that is true in the moment, I still want you to prioritize taking time out to lean back, sit in stillness and realize that it is not the end of the world if things don't work out in the way that your ego is saying that it has to. It's okay if you don't stay in the accounting industry. It's okay if you leave the tech industry, even if your life temporarily falls apart, but you will always reach your fullest potential when you allow the universe to co-create with you and follow what feels right to you. Follow what you feel joy doing, harness the skill sets that you enjoy and keep building upon it, no matter what people say about you. And that's how you truly manifest money. So that's why even though it's important that we do take some sort of effort to make shit happen, but a lot of time, it's about actually nurturing a certain energetic state within your field and making sure that you feel confident. You feel like, damn, I am the shit. I can get this shit done. So therefore, I take just the right amount of action and I leave everything be. I show up to write my scripts. I show up to film my videos. I show up to talk in flow state. Okay, I still try to follow my outlines, but I still talk in flow state to you guys. And after that, I don't mess with my analytics. I don't try to force my results. Back in the days, there were SEO editors and all these people reaching out so that I could pay them for their service. And I was frankly not in a position to pay anybody, let alone a membership for vidIQ. So I couldn't optimize my SEOs properly. Every single edit was made by me from scratch, every single video, and it was extremely time consuming. At first, it felt like the whole process was such a suffering. If only I could outsource to these people. If only I had money to pay people to help me, things would be better. But in the end, once I conquered everything myself, now I realized that the process of you conquering your own obstacles, overcoming the battles that you couldn't overcome, is the very thing that will shift your energy into the magnetic state. Because once you know, okay, this is what I'm capable of, now you can finally allow yourself to lean back. 
lean back from the outcome. It's okay if all the evidence you're wishing to see is not showing itself to you, as long as your thought patterns are changing, and as long as your energetic state is changing. So now I'm gonna share with you the processes that I took to finally understand how to be energetically receptive to all the things that I want by doing less. So even if you assume that doing nothing is sitting on the couch and waiting for money to fall on your lap, you are still doing something by sitting on the couch. I guarantee you that if you are operating in a low energetic state, even if you sit on the couch, you might still be turning on Netflix to watch. And even if you're not turning on Netflix to watch, you might still be scrolling on your social media. And even if you are not doing these two things, then you are probably overthinking about the past or the future. Because that was what I used to do when I would just sit on my couch and feel like my life has no purpose. Every single day that you waste sitting on your couch and feeling sorry for yourself is not doing nothing. That is you still dwelling, still procrastinating, still wasting your time. So technically, that is not doing nothing and waiting for money to fall onto your lap. Doing nothing really means to be in the moment. So let's just say I try to reach 2000 meters in the ocean water during the winter season. Back then it was really, really hard because it was cold and the waves were not smooth. By doing nothing in that moment, I'm allowing myself to flow with the water. I'm not trying to overexert my stroke so that I can get to the finish line. I'm using the right amount of force so that I could sustain the momentum and eventually reach 2000 meters in the harsh condition. And that is the same with life. By you doing nothing, you are still engaging in your physical activities, whether it's taking yourself out to the beach, whether it's doing your work, doing your video edits, showing up to the camera, showing up to your office. You are still taking those actions, but while you are taking those actions, you are in the moment fully. Because when you are in the moment fully, no matter if you're doing sales call, no matter if you're pitching to your investors, hanging out with your friends, or doing something that you enjoy, your energetic state is now all within you. You're not channeling or fracturing your energy anywhere else, but back to yourself. And once the energy is all harnessed within you, now you start to be so detached from everything. You're feeling like, okay, I want the vacation, I really do. I haven't took a vacation since 2022 maybe. And yes, honestly, I really want to go on a vacation. But the more I feel present within my body, the more I feel like I enjoy where I am, the more it feels like, okay, the vacation can wait for September. I can wait till spring until I book another Airbnb near the beach. It doesn't have to happen in winter. It doesn't have to happen exactly right now because I don't feel frantic. I don't feel like this vacation is going to make me magnetic. I feel like I'm magnetic enough to be happy with where I am. So therefore the vacation is drawn to me, not the other way around. When you go onto Airbnb websites, you're always thinking like, oh my God, this place is so alluring. This discount to Maldives and all these places, the package is what's magnetizing you to want to book the trip to there. But you want to reverse the energy. You want to be the one that draws these experiences into your life effortlessly by just being in flow as much as you can. Don't allow your energy to be drained to negative people. I'm telling you right now that your energy is dependent on you. If you want a 10 out of 10 energy, you create a 10 out of 10 energy. Nobody's going to be telling you that, oh, you know what? You have to stay as a 5 out of 10. So therefore, you have to continue watching the news. You have to continue looking at all this shittiness that's going to always be there on your phone no matter what, because that's the news, that's the industry. But you can choose to say no to all these things and harness the energy back into you. So whether you want to manifest your lottery win, no matter if you want to manifest your dream business or your conscious coaching business, you're not doing it from a place of, please, where are my clients? Please come to me. Because I've done that before and it was my greatest suffering. As a person who is providing value in exchange for money, you want to actually be like, you know what? I am so good in my own presence right now. No matter what I see in my bank account, no matter what is happening in my 3D reality, I am so fine in my own skin right now that even if you want to pay me or not today, I am still going to be fine. And that is because you are doing nothing to resist the process. You are doing nothing to manipulate and force shit to happen. You are allowing things to happen without having to be like, okay, this needs to happen by June. This needs to happen by September. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to happen by September. Even if you prefer it to happen in September, but your energy says, I'm happy with it to be in October. 
that everything's gonna flow so much more smoothly. And ironically, it's actually gonna happen so much faster as well. So I hope you understand by the end of this video that being energetically magnetic means to be so detached that you are just so okay. No matter if your bank account says, oh, it's minus again. Oh, he disappeared again. Oh, these people are pissing me off again. But you are so detached that you don't feel anything than just presence. You feel neutral. You feel like I'm in the moment right now. So I'm not exactly pissed off and I'm not exactly so overly blissful excited. But I'm just here. I'm okay. I'm just normal right now. Everything is normal. It's constant. My emotions are stable. My vibration is so high that everything makes me feel stable. That is what energetic magnetism is. It's you just being so solid like a beautiful garden that all these bees just want to come to your garden because you are so receptive to receiving. So I hope you guys always remember that you have the power to be the receiver of good things. You deserve to be a receiver of great things in life. You don't have to do more to prove yourself more, to try to convince to try to explain, to try to justify, to use all your portfolios and your skills and experiences to justify, oh, I'm so worthy. I am worthy for this job because look at everything that I've done. You don't have to do any of that. Just relax, detach, take the action that is needed, the inspired action. But then after that, you want to sit back and just allow the results to come to you effortlessly. And I promise you that your life will be so much more abundant so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.